how to convert the equation of a line from standard form to slope intercept form. That's the goal of this tutorial and by the end you should be able to look at the equation of any line like 2y plus 3x equals 6 and know how to write it in slope intercept form. This tutorial and many other resources on lines can be found on our website mathwarehouse.com slash line where you'll find a bunch of worksheets with answer keys, um, many other practice problems, and um, interactive applets. Okay, so let's first off just look at what is different between a standard form equation of a line here, which I graphed out for you, and slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form could boil down to, here's like a real example of slope-intercept form, y equals 3x plus 5, which, by the way, has nothing to do with this equation. I just made this up, y equals 3x plus 5. Let's just for a minute talk about the differences in the equations. We start out with an equation with variables on one side and with a constant or a number on the other side for standard form. And we are going to one up, we're going to want to end up with y all alone on the left side for slope intercept form and everything else on the right side. So, step number one will be to add the opposite of the x term to both sides. So if we had 2y plus 3x equals 6, the opposite of 3x is negative 3x. And let's do it to both sides because it's an equation. So just a little vocab reminder here. Opp like the opposite of 5x would be negative 5x. The opposite of negative 2x would be 2x. You simply basically take the expression and switch the sign. And when you add opposites, you end up with something neat happening. Plus 3x minus 3x will become 0. So the point of that was to get us closer to our goal of having y all alone on the left side, which is what slope-intercept form looks like. We're almost there. We have y all alone. However, for slope-intercept form, we can't have 2y. We need to... Um, what our final slope intercept form is y equals. So what do we have to do to 2y to get it to be y? Uh, and the answer is to multiply by 1 half. All right, 2y times 1 half is y. And of course then we have to do it to the um, left side of the the right side of the equation, so you get negative three times one half x plus one half times six is just three. And you end up with equals negative three halves x plus three. Okay. So step one is add the opposite of x of the x term to both sides. Step number two. A lot of people make the mistake when they see 2y. I mean, I just want to point this out so that you don't do it. A lot of people say, oh, I've got 2y on the left. Let's subtract a y, and then I end up with just 1y on the left. Well, the problem is if you subtract a y from the left side, you would also have to subtract a y from the right side. And we don't want that. We want 1y on the left all by itself. So what you want to do is always multiply for step two is always multiply by the reciprocal reciprocal of the y coefficient so just like we reviewed what opposite meant let's just review what a reciprocal is the reciprocal of two is one half the reciprocal of five halves would be 2 over 5, and you basically just take the number and f invert the fraction. 2 is really 2 over 1, so its reciprocal is 1 over 2. If I said what's the reciprocal of 3, you would think of it really as 3 over 1, and rewrite it as 1 over 3. So 
that's the only two steps that you need here for um, changing from standard form to slope intercept form. Let's just recap it. Add the opposite of x of the x term to both sides. We added the opposite of 3x is negative 3x. We added that to both sides. And step two is multiply the, by the reciprocal of the y coefficient, which we had a 2 here, the reciprocal is 1 half. So well, let's practice this with a few more equations. Okay, let's practice two more problems on the screen here con and convert them from standard to slope intercept form. Remember, step one is add the opposite of the x term to both sides. So here's our x term minus 2x, so its opposite will be plus 2x. And if we do it to the left side of the equation, remember we've got to do it to the right side. So we end up with 11y equals 2x plus 33. Remember, slope intercept form hey, it doesn't say 11y equals, but it says y equals. So we got to get y all alone. And we do that by multiplying by the reciprocal of the y coefficient. So the, recipro so the coefficient of y is 11 and its reciprocal will be 1 over 11. Remember, we just think of it as a fraction and flip it. That's how you get the reciprocal. This gives us y equals on the left side. 1 11th times 2 is 2 over 11. x plus 33 over 11. And we can simplify this a little more. So if you know your slope intercept form, you know that our, this is our slope. 2 over 11, and this is our y-intercept. They're the two things that you can easily get from slope-intercept form. Okay, let's look at 4x minus 13y equals 55. So again, we're going to add the opposite of the x term to both sides. x term is 4x, so its opposite is negative 4x. You end up with negative 13y on the left equals negative 4x plus 55. And now we need to multiply by the reciprocal of the y coefficient. So negative 13 is really, remember, negative 13 over 1. And its reciprocal is 1 over 13. Now, you can stick with these steps here, multiply by the reciprocal of the y coefficient. In fact, I'll do it that way and I'll show you a shortcut later. Um, so, let's make this, we end up with 1 over 13 equals negative 13 over 1y, times negative 13 over 1y gives us negative y equals negative 4 over 13x. Plus 55 over 13. Now, there is a little catch here, multiplied by the reciprocal of the y coefficient. The problem is, this, this has, does not work completely when y is negative, like we had negative 13y. As you can see here, we have negative y, and we really want to have straight up regular old positive y. So to get rid of this negative 1, you can multiply everything by negative 1, and that makes it y equals 14 over 3x um, minus 55 over 13. So you can always stick with the steps I gave you, add opposite of x, multiply by the reciprocal, but if y is negative, you're going to have to do this extra step of multiplying by negative 1. Alternately, alternately, let me just show you how you could, you, you, you might already realize how you could do this in one step. When we get to the point of it, the first, after we did the first step, we had negative 13y equals negative 4x plus 55. You could have done this in one step by multiplying by negative 1 over 13. And this does, um, this would basically do the two steps to our two final steps of, of the last problem in one step, because negative 1 over 13 times negative 13 is y. And you end up with 4 over 13x minus 55 over 13. Okay, so just be careful when y is negative. You, you have to do one of two things. <clears throat> Either do like I've been telling you, multiply by the reciprocal, and when you end up with a negative y, then multiply everything by negative 1, or 
just immediately when you see this negative coefficient multiply by the, uh, the negative reciprocal. Okay, so let's try another problem or two like that last one that involves more that involves a negative y term. Okay, let's finish up with two more equations that we're going to convert from standard to slope intercept form. 4x minus 22y equals 44. And notice it's one of these negative y problems like the prior one. And a challenge problem, 5x minus by equals 11. Not only is it a negative y, but it's a variable coefficient in front of the y. So that makes that's sort of a nice little challenge to conclude with. So we have, we're going to follow our same steps. We're going to add the opposite of the x to both sides. Opposite of 4x is negative 4x. So minus 4x minus 4x gives us negative 22y equals negative 4x plus 44. <coughs> now we're going to, um, remember it says multiply by the reciprocal of the y coefficient. Um, and here's one of those ones where it's negative 22. So I'm going to do this one the quicker way. Since it's negative, we would actually have to do more than multiply by the reciprocal of 1 over 22. Because if you remember, 1 over 22 times negative 22 would actually give us negative y. When it's a negative here, the quickest thing to do is to multiply by the negative reciprocal. Flip it and negate it. That way, negative times a negative gives you the positive y, and you get it done in one step. So you end up with negative 1 over 22 times negative 4, which is positive 4 over 22. Remember, negative times a negative becomes a positive. M minus, because we got minus 1 times 44 over 22. And we can uh, simplify this a little to give you y equals 2 over 11x minus 2. So, just to remember what this equation means, we have a slope of 2 over 11 and a y-intercept of negative 2. You can tell that from this equation. All right, let's see if you can handle it at a new level. Let's add a little algebra in here, a little more algebra. We have this b to deal with instead of a nice number like 22. But step one's no different. Add the opposite of the x term to both sides, and you end up with negative by equals negative 5x plus 11. And what will be the reciprocal of negative b? Right? b is really, I'll write it down here, b is the same as b over 1, so its reciprocal would be 1 over b. All right, so we could multiply by 1 over b. But remember, this is one of those ones that has a negative sign there. So to cut down on the steps, when the term in front of the y is negative, multiply by the negative reciprocal. And everything cancels out here, right? You end up with negative b over 1 times negative 1 over b, which reduces to just 1 y, or y equals negative 1 over, I put the negative sign, let's put it over here, negative 1 over b times negative 5 is going to be positive 5 over bx, negative over minus 11 over b. So that's the answer. It's y equals 5 over bx minus 11 over b. So that's it for converting standard to slope intercept form. Again, you can find other practice problems and worksheets with answer keys on our website, mathwarehouse.com slash line. Thank you.